On the 3rd of May 2007, in the south of Portugal, Madeleine McCann, then three years old, mysteriously disappeared. Last week, Netflix released a documentary called The Disappearance of Madeleine McCann, an eight-part documentary series about her disappearance, what happened to Madeleine McCann, and what were the theories, conspiracies, and where did the investigation lead? Today's video on Roll the Credits is going to be all about the eight-part documentary series on Netflix called The Disappearance of Madeleine McCann. My name is Hannah and this is a channel for everyone who is interested in film, TV and pop culture. I make reviews and live reaction videos of me watching certain new TV series I've never watched before and also talk about things like this, things that I watch and things that interest me. I am a huge fan of documentaries. I love watching all sorts of documentaries. I like learning things. Something that's exploded on Netflix and in pop culture in general, especially on TV, is true crime documentary. Ever since Making a Murderer, we've just had more and more documentaries, especially on Netflix, and some have been really incredibly well made. Now, I haven't actually watched Making a Murderer, but I have seen other documentaries such as Evil Genius, the Ted Bundy tapes. One of my favorite documentaries is the November 13th Attack on Paris, which is a documentary about the Paris attacks that happened a couple of years ago and that is one of the most uh, stunning documentaries I've ever seen. The Disappearance of Madeleine McCann though does not end up on the list of my favorite Netflix documentaries. First of all, I thought it was like a one or two part series and then I clicked on it and it was eight hours long. I just felt that was an incredibly long piece of documentary. Like, is there really that much information to put into eight hours? The answer is no. They fleshed this documentary out. They just pumped it in with reconstructions, investigations, in interviews with like journalists and people that may have seen something and they just properly flashed it out. If it was four hours I would have like probably enjoyed it a little bit more but it was eight long hours and in the end did we really find out anything new? No. As someone who didn't grow up in the UK I only heard about the Madeleine McCann case through the news. I never delved into the case, I didn't know anything about the conspiracies or any theories that were put through the investigation. As someone who didn't really know all the conspiracies, I feel that you could have easily summed up all those theories in about two or three episodes. You didn't have to do eight long episodes of it. And it felt like, especially the theory about the man carrying the child, that sighting was talked about in like episode or in part two, but it wasn't concluded until part eight when they went, oh, by the way, that wasn't, that wasn't even related to the Madeline McCann case. That is 99.9% .9 sure just the man carrying his child from the crash where all the other kids were, but the McCann party didn't leave their kids there because it was too far away and they, they'd rather leave their kids in their, apartments unsupervised and I just felt that 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 was a theory that I hopped on to and I was like oh, that probably was Madeleine McCann being abducted but it literally took me eight hours to find out that, that I was misled so it was quite misleading this entire documentary they didn't really give us anything new it was more of like a really long 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 timeline of what actually happened throughout the investigation considering it didn't actually give us any new stuff it didn't resolve anything or any way there was no point of view it wasn't like the filmmakers didn't come with a message to us there was really no message until the last like 20 minutes of the final part and that is something that i feel that's the most valuable part the the eighth episode is probably the best one for me it's because it's not about the madeline mccann case it's about how that investigation, all the people who were involved with it realized the importance of finding and protecting innocent and vulnerable victims of child abuse. That was the most important thing, was how the investigation spurred another investigation that led to a big group of Portuguese pedophiles being arrested. And I feel that that was probably the best, the best thing that the documentary gave us. I can't remember, I think his name was Jim, one of the police like investigators at New Scotland Yard, the Northern Irish guy, he was talking about how if child abductions and child pornography was counter-terrorism that the state would declare war on these criminals but because it's not 
they're only putting millions of pounds into the investigations instead of billions of pounds. As someone who has volunteered for UNICEF and I feel that children's future and children's safety is one of the most important things that we should volunteer and that we should take care of and actually like really put our time and effort into, it really got through in that final episode of the documentary. We just don't as a Western society, we're 100% more focused on fighting terrorism and that terrorism is the worst thing that's happening to us. In reality, there are so many other crimes that are equally as important, even more important. There's three-year-old girls who are being abducted and sold into sexual slavery. Like these are things that are happening all across the world every single day. And it's something that we should be discussing a lot more. So I feel that if, if the documentary was about three parts and then the rest of the five parts was about all the investigations that have spurred from the Madeleine McCann case then it would have been so much more worthy watching but it's just eight hours of them talking about things that happened and just kind of like debunking the whole investigation and saying that the Portuguese police just didn't do it right that was something that frustrated me the most like as a little review of the investigation really. The Portuguese police were just like the worst from what the documentary showed us. They didn't put up roadblocks straight away. They did that like three days later. Another thing that this documentary highlighted really, really well was the impact of media and how absolutely horrific the media can be. Journalists are just like hyenas. They're just like on to the victims straight away, trying to like get compromising photos and them like slipping up and saying something the headlines and everything that was like spewing hate making the parents be like like there's no there's no facts whether the McCann's actually did this if they're in on it if they sold their daughter to trafficking or whatever they did there's no actual hard evidence against this and I just feel that the media just really hyped that up and yes the parents are definitely supposed to be charged with child negligence because they left their kids all alone to go out drinking with their friends but in reality there's still a three-year-old girl who went missing and no one knows what happened I feel that the whole journalist parts of this documentary just proved how absolutely horrific they can be as a true crime documentary it's terrible it is not worth eight hours of your life maybe watch the first episode and then just skip all the way through the to the last episode because you don't really get any new information they literally just tell you this is what was investigated and then at the end of the episode it's like oh yeah but that that wasn't even true or like that that was debunked it didn't it didn't feel like you had to put an entire hour into every single theory it would have been easier if you just put like all the theories into like two episodes and that would have been a lot better but yeah as someone who really really likes documentaries this was not my favorite one it took me a week to watch eight episodes like it took me a week to watch eight hours of tv which has never happened before so yeah those were my thoughts about the disappearance of Madeleine McCann if you watched it Please let me know down below what you thought about it and if you agree with any of my opinions. I make videos on this channel every Saturday and upload them at 4 p.m. UK time, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. That is all for this week's video. Hope to see you again next time. Until then, I know, roll the credits.